me, Kayla. You're supposed to. We're supposed to say it together. I'll slap you because <laughs> that's not what we're supposed to do. kitchen just eating it like it's just food like it's free for it. all like <laughs> eating out the house. Food. so I decided to start prepping their breakfast lunch and snacks I'll probably cook me I probably will I will continue to cook dinners fresh because I like fresh dinner so I'm pretty sure you guys will too so they're just gonna show you a few of their options that we got. They're all fun for kids. A lot of this stuff they help me prep. So you parents get your kids in the kitchen with you. It's a good bonding time. It's a good time for them to learn how to do things for themselves. Hey guys, so the first one is protein pancakes. This is the breakfast item. Yes. Um, so they're made out of protein powder from Herbalife. Um, if you wanna know the recipe, Go down in the description at Coach Neek and you can t uh, find that out. It's on mom's channel. Go check it out. Awesome video. Kaylee, what you got to say about this? And so for toppings, we have a healthier version of syrup, which is honey. And honey is actually 60 hours, I guess. And so, and then we have blueberries to put on top of it as a little fruit. And for any side of fruit, strawberries, grapes, anything, it's any side of the fruit. And we just went with oranges. Yep, yeah, oranges. So that is one breakfast option. One breakfast option. So this is a second breakfast. It's a fruit bowl parfait. So what the fruit bowl parfait is, is it has cherries, it has mango, it has um, pineapple, and it has watermelon. Kennedy? Um, and it also has some yogurt in it right there. It's um, Princess Animal yogurt. I don't know. But it's really good yogurt. And there's some cocoa granola, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and basically what you do is you pour the, the yogurt on top of the fruit and you add the granola. And it's crunchy and it's sweet and it has lots of fiber. And you're not going to be looking like quarantine 15 if you eat that. And we helped our prep this. It's amazing, guys. Try it out. All right, guys. So this is our snack bucket. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. This is our cold snacks and Kaylee dry snacks. Yes. So Here's I'll be explaining the cold snacks right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So first snack we have is cut up vegetables. Now as you can see, there is celery, orange carrots, obviously, and some cucumbers. Freshly cut by my mama. Now you can have some dippings with it. So the first dipping is. Kaylee, <laughs> what her explain without you doing all the background noises? First one is, well, my mom's gonna do it. Roasted hummus. That's 
pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can dip the vegetables in there. And if you don't want hummus, you don't have to have hummus. You can have delicious, creamy sweater cheese. I mean cheese. <laughs> no, <laughs> sweater. Sweater cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sweater chest. <laughs> Sweater chest. Raisin pack. <laughs> and if you don't want hummus, a second option would be spreadable cheese. These are little cheese wedges. They are. And come I'm like... the one who doesn't want hummus, so I'm gonna have them spread with cheese. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> they're only 50 calories. Y'all, it cuts me off. Um, they're like already pre diced. pre diced or not pre diced. You made me say what you said. Yeah. Why are you gonna open it already? I wanna show them how it looks. Some people have never bought Can I try these. some? And all of this stuff that y'all see on this table came from all these. We ranked up. Oh, we yeah, I wanted one of those slices. So, you know, they're pretty convenient. All right, Kenji, what else we got in our cold snack bucket? Okay, we have <clears throat> some grapes. And we have. Who doesn't love grapes? I don't know. <laughs> and some cheese, some 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 yellow cheese. I mean, what is it? Oh, <laughs> Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are always good go-to's. Yes. So it's like them together, like besties forever. Yeah. So this is one of our buckets. We just put them in a bucket. So these are our dry snacks. And so first up, we have these rice roll-ups. They're. Uh, crunchy rice rolls. We got them from Aldi's again. Um, 30, 38 calories really per good. roll. 8 grams of carbs. It's pretty healthy. Can't we get them this snack pee. Vegan and fat free, low sodium. Oh. Gluten free as well. And so, what we can dip in it is some Jip to go creamy peanut butter. Yeah. Mm. So put those together. It's a snack. Okay, explain the next snack. Uh, we have some cauliflower. Mm. Cauliflower chips. They're nacho flavored. And yes. And they are. Did you only... guys taste them? Yeah. Yes. How do they taste? They taste um, like, like Doritos. Doritos. But they're only 140 calories. And you know, Doritos. Doritos are like 390 calories. And they're less carbs. And they're less. Less carbs, so you don't be. And they're vegan and they're gluten free. What? And they're vegan? The yeah, vegan, plant-based, grain-free, yeah. gluten-free. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, what else we got in our dry snack bag? We got some stashios. Stashios? Yeah, stashios. <laughs> I, I got a stash of stash. They love some stashios, but you guys can get any type of nuts. Um, some kids have nut allergies, so they probably can't eat any nuts. But kids who don't have nut allergies eat. can choose. And the girls love some stashios. I use usually buy them for myself and they eat them all we loop that bag of so i bought them their up. own and so we have some raisin pack no this is a trail mix <laughs> <laughs> no it's raisin pack this is a trail mix uh, this traditional trail mix it actually was a fourth of july one i yeah. got it on sale so because fourth yes. of july is over and we don't celebrate anyways so <laughs> this is a trail mix pack here we go <laughs> okay and what do we have here ouch we have some fiber now Fiber now, Kaylee. <laughs> fiber now. Fiber now. They're 90 calories. They're brownie flavor. We got a few different flavors. We got a lemon one. What was the other one? Um, it was something coffee. Coffee, like coffee cake. cake or something. Coffee yeah, coffee cake. cake. It was coffee. So these are good little sweet mm -hmm. snacks to go to that the girls love. So that is what we have in our. Oh, we forgot about these. Oh what? Oh, our pretzels. Yep. Pretzel thins. Okay. So you can also eat the pretzel thins with <gasps> the hummus okay. and cheese as well. That oh, is also okay. another option. Um, they love those with hummus or cheese. Okay, um, then you don't get them. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? And they are pretzels. They are pretzel Swiss original. Slims. Pretzel Slims original. She can read y'all really good. So I don't know what's going on with her today. She's above her reading level and her grades. So I don't know. Maybe it's the summertime blues. And we haven't. We, we're on summer, so I don't know anything about school right now. <laughs> don't even Nothing. bring up the water. All right, so that was our snack bucket. Yeah, we highly encourage you guys to prepare snack buckets like this so kids can just grab and go. There's no excuse to be grabbing unhealthy things when you already have them things like Cheetos, this. Them, All right, guys, so 
the first lunch um, option we have is build your own pizza. And in here is the pizza dough slash bread or whatever you want to call it. And in here is the ingredients. Right there, we have some pizza sauce, some turkey pepperoni, and some mixed cheese. And right there is bell peppers. Yes, yeah, bell peppers. So you can do your own vegetable option. We highly encourage, or unless you just like cheese pizza, but it's really fun for kids to like build their own. Mm -hmm. So I just put like some of their favorite toppings in here. Uh, some kids like pineapple, mm -hmm. um, onions, sausage. banana pepper, sausage. So whatever your kids bacon. like, bacon. So whatever pizza. your kids like, you could do that same option. Kaylee, what is this option of uh, build your own pizza? So this is build your own pizza, but instead of pizza dough or crust, we have a tortilla, a wheat, a whole wheat tortilla. And it's all the same exact toppings, just with the tortilla. So same thing, and it's already in foil, so literally they just unwrap the foil and it's already ready to go into the oven. You will just put the toppings right on top of it and I'll pop it in the oven with the foil under it. Very smart idea. So that's a fun lunch option. Parents, if you work from home, this is minimum. Literally your kids can make it themselves and you're literally just putting it in the oven for maybe seven to 10 minutes, if that. So depending on how high you have the oven on. All right. so that is our first lunch option. All right, guys, so this is our second lunch option. And what it is is a fajita. And right here is a whole wheat tortilla. Healthy. And that's actually what you saw with the pizza thingy. And that is chicken, bell pepper, and it's seasoned, and it's grilled chicken. And there's a lime on the side, so we can put the lime on it. And yeah, so they can literally pop this in the microwave themselves, roll it up in their tortillas, mm -hmm. and they have easy, already made fajitas. fajitas. All right, guys, so this is our third lunch, and we have cheese quesadillas with cheese broccoli. Very simple. And to keep the quesadillas crispy, I like to pop them in our air fryer for a few minutes instead of the microwave, because it will still give it that crispy crunch just like I freshly made it. Um, and the girls love broccoli, and I always like to add a little bit of cheese on top because it's just yummy and delicious. And, and it gives easy. it more pop. Yep, yeah, gives them more pop and flavor. So that is our last lunch option. What's the cool thing about these lunch options, they're also good dinner options. So if you're just having a late day, you didn't get to, get to cook, you can also use one of these lunch options for dinner because they're just as good for dinner. Thanks Thank guys so, so much, much for, for watching, watching our video and hope, hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed this video. video. Don't forget to smack that like button, punch that subscribe button, button and lightly click, click that notification bell. bell. And the question is, yeah. drum roll please. Now, 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 now. What's your favorite snack? Can I? <laughs> um, my favorite snack is anything that involves what? <laughs> my favorite snack. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> my favorite snack. <laughs> I'm from Turkey. <laughs> I'm on Turkey on my What's your favorite snack? I'm choking on air. Mine is a rice cake with a peanut butter. A peanut butter? No. Just a. <laughs> a peanut butter? <laughs> no, with some sort of. No, you know a rice cake with uh, a. Nutella. <laughs> I just gotta guess. I thought I, I thought I knew. Well, yeah, sort of, kind of, with the topping on it. Like the everything one would probably be with the laughing cow cheese or the what? I don't know. What's your favorite snack? Come on. No, cheddar cheese one need, with what's popcorn your favorite? cheese. My favorite snack is mangoes with tahini. Oh, uh, why my, did I think of that? My favorite snack is. You gotta be happy. <laughs> No. It's, it's um the cheese it's the cheddar laughing cow that is not your favorite snack <laughs> you never even ate that you I'm just straight out my what is your favorite snack my favorite no. snack is a cheese um rice cake oh the cheddar is rice cake yeah that's all i was trying to say but I ended up you just went ahead and said laughing cow laughing cow please
Bye.